Really excited to offer for the first time. This is Alocasia Morocco, also known as Pink Dragon. We got these in from Tissue Culture, and wow, they are really turning into something special. They have this almost glaucous, silvery blue colored leaves with deep silver venation and a pink stem. As you can see in this larger one, we previously offered six inch. Wow, look at how pink the petioles are on these erect petioles. These leaves kind of hang down and look at also the back will develop this purple color. Really, really pretty plant. Super excited to be able to offer these four inch for you. And so get them now. They're gonna be listed soon. Really exciting to see how they grow up and you're gonna love them. Hookara, let me talk to you about Hookara. So Hookara are normally grown as an outdoor perennial, but they're so pretty, we decided that why not grow them as houseplants? So this is Hookara Lucid Dreams Awakening, and this is Hookara from the fun Eureka series, Amber Lady. We have five different Hookaras growing here, and if they could grow outside and they can withstand cold, then they should be a perfect houseplant. I love them. They come in a wide variety of colors and given the proper conditions, they will also grow flowers and bloom on long spikes. And when they bloom, they're known as coral bells. Really, really pretty plant and we're excited in the next couple weeks to be able to offer these to you. This is Hookara from the series Eureka Black Knight. I love this one because it has really dark purple, almost black foliage that is ruffled on these cute, tightly packed leaves absolutely beautiful plant really excited to get this one to you guys Pukara plum pudding is a lot like black knight except it has silver venation throughout the leaves and the plant isn't as compact giving it a more sprawling appearance but really pretty different dark foliage i think you guys will really like it this is hookra mysterious from the lucid dreams collection and really, I mean, I love this hookra. It's not as dark as Black Knight, so you get to really see the purple on it and it has this awesome, almost black pattern venation on the leaves. And the undersides are a beautiful purple. Really love this guy, really excited. Probably a couple weeks from now, we'll be able to start offering these and bring them to you. This new Nepenthes is Nepenthes Lady Luck. This specific clone of Ampularia ex ventricosa features blood red pitchers. You can see here they're really small now, but they will get about to be five or six inches once they're larger. We're going to grow it in a four inch pot and a five inch hanging basket. And really excited to grow this intermediate hybrid. It should perform really well indoors, much like a lot of the other Nepenthes we grow. So Nepenthes Lady Luck, stay tuned. This new Nepenthes that we're growing is Nepenthes Suki, which features dark burgundy foliage and actually will develop these thick, robust red pitchers. Nepenthes suki is a hybrid between Nepenthes rafflesiana and Cebu yonensis. These Nepenthes suki are really small right now, but in the upcoming weeks they should get a bigger size and become more robust and develop those kind of typical bigger stout red pitchers. And so stay tuned, really excited to grow this one. A new Nepenthes should do great in your home. Uh, an intermediate hybrid, really excited to bring it to you.